channel I'm Kathy from Creative Kit Kat yeah so I just wanted to give you guys an update so over the weekend what happened was uh, over the weekend we actually went to um, we actually went to Ikea with my husband and my son and apparently a lot of people are now going to Ikea to do their shopping so um i anyway i wanted to get some stuff that i think i needed to for to display some stuff at home so what i did was that when i went around my purpose of going there was to actually get some framing stuff for for the diamond paintings that um, i have already finished okay sorry about that guys so as i was saying um me my husband and my son actually went to costco uh, not costco sorry about that to ikea uh over the weekend because i wanted to get some things that i think that um would that i would need to frame some diamond paintings that i have already completed so what you see here are two different size paintings so what i did what well actually what i found in ikea are these poster hangers so they actually come in two different sizes two different sizes and they call it this back i think i don't know whether i'm i'm saying it correctly or not but anyway um the first one is actually it's smaller but it's actually 40 cm so i have two different size paintings over here one bigger one smaller but we'll see how we're going to do that and then i have another one i got another one a longer one 61 cm for this one so um let's try because um my purpose was to actually buy the long one for for this painting for the mama knows best that i have finished um a few weeks back um however i still have another painting which is about the same size which is actually the same size as this uh 50 by 65 cm but um the one that i had already finished is actually um landscape so i wanted to try if i could fit this the length with the length being 65 cm um onto this particular uh, onto this particular um poster hanger uh not poster hanger what do you call this well i call it poster hanger or drape all right yeah we'll see so let's try to see if it will actually fit this without um you know without flopping the sides all over so we'll see so let's take a look at one of them so let's set these aside and then try to open one of them this is actually i forgot to mention the prices so the long one is actually $9.99 while the set the smaller one is $7.99. It that's in US dollars. Uh, sorry, not US dollars, Australian dollars. So, so you just have to check your local idea of how much that will probably be in your area. Yeah, but um here in Australia it's nine dollars for the long one and seven dollars for well, ten and eight dollars for the smaller one. Yeah, so it comes like this. Okay. Okay, so the back says I think this is where you're supposed to hook it. But I was thinking instead of using this, I would probably use the command um command strips stick one here stick one there and then just adjust accordingly and what i liked about this idea was that you could change your or rotate whatever design or uh, painting you have here and then rotate it as and when you feel that you're tired with the design that you have on up on the wall so i think that's the reason why it's like that so we'll see yeah so the other one is the same as well 
I think you're supposed to slide it out carefully. Oh, that actually leaves scratches on the, it leaves scratches. It leaves scratches or marks on the wood itself and you can see it there. There's a black scratch and there's another one over here, but it's very, very faint, but you can still see it. Hmm. Okay. Let's try it out anyway. So, let's try it out with this, with this painting first. Because I really wanted to see, I think we're just supposed to, um, maybe I could just, because you, I don't think you can remove this because it's already screwed in. Yes, you can, but I still have to use a, uh, I still have to use like a um, uh, screwdriver to loosen that up. You have to be careful to make sure that you don't, you only grip the canvas portion and not the portion where you already have gems. So let's see, this is the scratched area. I think I'll probably uh, try to lift that a little bit. Oh. I can just align it properly. Yeah, there you go. So I wanted to see whether this portion will actually flop around. I don't think it will. It's stiff enough. I don't think that it will. So my concern with with having a bigger canvas, bigger canvas than the actual um the actual painting was that if you have gems over here, it will actually flop around. But when you, I'm trying to give it a shape, and I don't, and I think it's actually firm enough that um it won't fall off. So, hmm. Well, maybe I could try this with the finished one. Later on, I'll bring it down. So, yeah. And then let's try it on this one. The big, the big painting. Yeah, so you can see it there. So what we'll do is, I need to cut this off. The one on the sides, cut it off. Yeah, so... Oh, 
yeah, so apparently the wood that they use for this is a bit sensitive. Hmm, there's another scratch on the other side. The other side looks seems to be clear. Yeah. Okay, sorry about that guys. Looks like while I was recording the video, it wasn't clear. So what I did earlier was to cut down the border because it was too long. It's too wide for this piece of wood. So um, after cutting it down, I didn't have, I didn't measure it anymore. Just like, um, just try to make sure that I was um, making sure that it was thin enough that it would fit the, the frame and then I use the front okay so looks like it's this one because it has scratches on it so I have to make sure that I don't actually accidentally um, squeeze in the gems. Oh no. suggestion was to just use the top portion and then no need to put the wood underneath so I could potentially do that as well however since I actually have two pieces of the long one I was thinking should be fine I could just use this the two pieces sorry the two pieces onto the two pieces on the top and on the bottom of the painting itself and then later on just which portion is the one with scratches okay this. so this should be the front i'm so scared of putting more scratches Oh no! Who can see the canvas? Ugh. How do I do that? How do I adjust? Oh, 
okay that is how it looks like with the poster well I call it poster frame it's the base back from from Ikea so let's see if I shake it will it actually will it loosen up from the no no it won't ha ah, that's good so if I actually have four or more than two big paintings two big paintings then I could actually remove the wood from the bottom cut out the border and then just hang it without any um, wood on the bottom like a tapestry or something of some sort yeah so if there's two it looks like a scroll and then I'll I'll use this some command hooks. I'll use some command hooks. Oh well, not command hooks because there's no hook. Like the Velcro. I'll use this. Attach them on the back. Maybe two or three on the back. And then hang it on the wall so that later on I can just remove them as and when I need to replace the photo or sorry the painting that is on the wall wow so how about let's try this on the 50 by 65 painting that I was mentioning earlier so this is the other painting that I wanted to I wanted to, um, to use I wanted to use this for this particular painting because I actually framed this already uh, months ago but the whole frame together with the with, with the painting crashed to the floor and it broke the it broke the, the the frame so I wanted to to use a separate um, a different method so I was thinking if I could potentially use this for use the vis back for this even if it's hanging on the side so let's see that will actually work so I tried it with just the the painting without any I tried it on the painting without any of the without any of the drills on it and it seems to be stiff enough that um, it doesn't flop around on the side so maybe this could be the solution to my problem. Yeah, so again, I'll be using the 61 cm and cm painting. I'm uh, sorry, 61 cm this back. I still have two of the 40 cm. So if this works, maybe I should buy more of the bigger ones. Here we go. Okay. Let's try it without. Margins on this is actually smaller than the one from my art club and let's make sure that it's actually in the middle. Mm -hmm. This is so nerve-wracking, the sliding thing, sliding this on. I always get nervous because I'm scared of it will, I will create additional scratches on the... Oh! See? And it's not... Oh, never mind. It's okay. It's just... I'm just trialing it. Oh, there. Just wanted to see if it flops. Does it flop? Well, the sides doesn't flop. 
So I thought the it will bend like that all the way, but it doesn't flop. Yeah, so I think I could potentially I could use this. I just need to cut off the sides. Use this on the bottom and that should be fine. Yeah, okay, let's do that. So there you go guys. This is what it looks like. Guys, what it looks like after it's finished. Huh, look at that. Isn't that nice? Yeah, so so for you guys who are actually um who needs a cheaper option. Or who doesn't have any um, who wants to well for me my plan was to just use this and only display two big paintings at a time on the walls well on the space beside the TV so I'll be hanging one one on each side of the, the TV itself and then what I'll do is that um, I'll just rotate the image that will be on the on the on the poster on the board itself so so that every time um, if I, I am getting sick and tired of what it looks like I will actually be rotating it rotating it and um, rotating the image that will be on these, um, these posters yeah uh, poster hanger poster frame this back <laughs> yeah so I think I could actually fit three now that I think about it two on the sides of the TV and then one up top of the TV yeah so this will probably be the one on top and then there will be two on the sides of the TV and then smaller paintings will be on a separate wall and I'll be using the smaller this back for that so the problem with this particular painting is that it had popping drills which I already mentioned on my um, other post review on the post review for this particular painting I'll be linking it down below in the description if you wanted to um, to watch that and I'll be looking for all the missing drills and then replacing them of course before I hang it up and then I'll probably coat it again with another layer of the another layer of the of the 
glue or the gloss spray before I hang it yeah so there you go guys I hope you have fun and what I'll probably do is that I'll show you um, where I'm I'm going to um, I'll show you this and the other painting hung up on the TV um, after I did all of that yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed watching me struggle with the vest back <laughs> I didn't really struggle is that I'm, I'm, I'm stressed um, when I see scratches on the wood of the frame itself however I think it's um, I could just potentially just spray paint the entire thing with whatever color I want later on yeah however um, I'll just leave it at that and if it's already hung on the wall I don't think people will see the scratches on on the wood itself they will look at the painting I hope they will look at the painting more than the wood <laughs> yeah so Thank you guys once again for watching this video. If you enjoyed it like I did, please give me a thumbs up so I know I'm doing the right thing. If you have any suggestions or questions, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back to you promptly. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button if you haven't done so. I also have a new Facebook group, Diamond Painting Sparklers Dash Australia. Of course, it is open to everyone, from an addict like me to a beginner who wants to start this hobby. I have added the link down below for you as well. Before you go, remember to sparkle like no other. See you on my next video. Bye!